What up, you dingus? This is definitely not good. A podcast where we make stories, but they're definitely eh, probably not going to be good. I'm your host, CJ. I'm here with my producer, Nuckety. Hello. And we got a very, very special guest here today. We got rapper and comedian Steven Ryan. What's going on? Thank you for having me. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's definitely not good. This is definitely not good. <laughs> Steven, what's the last video game you played? Pokemon. Which one? Uh, Let's Go Pikachu. Let's Go Pikachu? With my four-year-old. Man, that's like perfect for a four-year-old, but not for like a 33-year-old man, <laughs> which I am. Yeah. Which I am. Well, I'm 31, so. Yeah. 31. We need like a grungy Pokemon game, you know, <laughs> something that's just hard hitting, like, you know, like we got to make money or we're, yeah. or, or the bills will hit us <laughs> and we get thrown out on the street and like Pokemon start killing us. I, I think that'd be a good Pokemon game. Yeah. Well, I play Pokemon by myself entirely too much. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, I know we usually start with a little uh, activity. You want? Oh, yeah. You want to do the warm up? Yeah, you don't even know about the warm up. No, about to I blow don't. your motherfucking head yeah. off. Uh, oh, <laughs> so, so the warm up, the warm up is uh, for you to the to the best of your ability. Remember those words: the best of your ability. Hum the theme song to All Real Monsters. <laughs> don't look at me like that. <laughs> the best of your ability. To the best of your ability. We talking about like the Nickelodeon show? Yeah. Yes, sir. Real monsters. All Real mm -hmm. Monsters. Hum the theme song. Go for it. You can do it. I believe in you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're almost there. I feel like you're pretty close. That's actually. incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievably <laughs> like, accurate. I, I don't I know just, how I could get any closer. I don't know how it came to me. You're just searching the database for that one, and you found it, man. I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, me too, man. I'm blown away. <laughs> like a file in camera. <laughs> hey, well, if this is your first time listening to the podcast, this is pretty much how everything works. Uh, <laughs> we're going to create a story from scratch with a little twist. We're going to spin some wheels to decide which direction our story is going to go, and we'll pretty much take it from there. You know, and before we get started, we should just maybe spin some wheels to see what our sponsors are today. Oh, yeah, you want to sponsor? Yeah. Okay, let's see. What are we sponsored by today? Uh, <laughs> let me see. Yeah. Track a beverage company. <laughs> <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by Hugs. Oh, there's nothing better than a good hug. Oh, I right? love me a nice warm hug. Yeah. Hey, we want to thank uh, Hugs for sponsoring us. You know, anytime that I'm hugged, I feel very loved and accepted. I don't really know how they've come to uh, sponsor us, but we're pre we appreciate them being here with us today. Oh yeah, nothing like a good warm embrace. Um, just to just to hold me in in your arms. Some people shouldn't be giving out hugs though. Oh no, definitely. That's very true. <laughs> That's very true. Hugs only from good huggers. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if you're kind of wildly looking or a little scary, probably don't don't give <laughs> hugs. As long as they smell nice, you know. Oh, 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 I'll, hug, I'll hug anybody as long as they smell nice. Yeah, they gotta smell nice. Good smells only. Have you guys ever wanted to hug a bear? Yes. Every day of my life. Yeah. I feel like that would be good, but probably deadly. Probably fatal. Nah, nah, bears are cool. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we can... Unless you're Russian. Hey, <laughs> then it's just a normal Tuesday. Yeah. Right? There, was a, there was a bear in the Russian army. Was there really? Yeah, yeah, there really was. <laughs> That's, I'm not even making that up. There was a bear, he like... Help carry infantry and stuff. That's and like fantastic. marched with them. It's crazy. That's amazing. You can look it up. His name is Koj Koja. I don't remember his name. It's been scientifically proven that Russians give off a certain pheromone that like and like the bears will never go for the kill shot with them. Really? Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, that's, that's helpful for them. So this Russian this, pheromones. So this. I don't even know if that makes sense. But. I mean, I'm just gonna take it as face value to be facts, and. You know, Hugs that also partnered with Russians and Bears. We want to thank you for sponsoring us. Thank you, Hugs. Thank you, Russians. Thank you. <laughs> well, hey, I guess we're going to go ahead and spin that first. No, you know what? Before we spin anything, gosh, dang it. I forgot to banter a little bit. You want to banter? Yeah. What are you What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing with, with your lives, man? What are, you, what are you doing? We just over here being dads, man. <laughs> dads? You guys are both dads? Yeah. What's that like? Ah, well, you know, yeah. No, probably not good for him. 
That sounds like a good spinoff series. Probably not good. Probably talking not about good. being a being a dad, as opposed to definitely not good. It's probably not good. <laughs> um, is there anything that you'd want to say to your to your future kids that you can say now when they listen to this? Man, uh, don't turn it turn this off right now. <laughs> <laughs> turn it off. <laughs> Chase the lies around. You turn this shit off right now. And if you happen to still be listening and not turning this off, please do give us five stars on Spotify or uh, Apple Podcast, whatever um, platform you're on. Oh man, I'd love you forever for that. Yeah, turn it off, but still give a good review. <laughs> I like that. Absolutely, I'll subscribe. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Uh, Nuck, what about you? Um, I don't know, man. I'll talk to him. Okay. <laughs> well, you heard it from the man himself. Hello talk and goodbye. Kids. Um, all right, let's get started. Let's spin that first wheel to decide our genre. I'm spinning. I'm spinning. I'm spinning. Treasure hunt. Treasure hunt. Hell yeah. You know, when I put that in, I was thinking of like national treasure. Um, That's what I was thought of. <laughs> yeah. Or without a paddle. Um, have you seen any treasure movies or national treasure type? Like, you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? Like Indiana yeah. Jones, like. Indiana Jones is, I guess, kind of the the, the freaking predecessor of, of yeah, it all, right? Yeah, yeah. The big dog, the golden, the golden standard, mm. the golden standard of the OG months. of treasure hunting. Mm-hmm. Let's spin our next wheel. Next wheel, time period. <laughs> 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 uh, between year one and eighteen hundreds. Mm. Oh, oh, somewhere God. in there. Okay. Um. So this is. During the Renaissance? Oh, fuck. So, okay. 1 to 1800. Is that like after Christ? This is AC? Oh, yeah. We call it Common Era now, though. We call it Common Era. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What what was happening in that time? I don't know. You know, does stuff. Any, does knights, anybody know? Knights and stuff. Yeah, I don't really know the difference. Oh, man. Between like, you know, BC and <laughs> AD. I don't know. And, he, and there's such a broad spectrum. I know, One right? to 1,800. One to 1,800. 1,800 years. Okay, let's spin another wheel. This, we're going to need to narrow it down a little bit. What's our oh. next wheel, by the way? Thy uh, spinneth the wheel. <laughs> Thou spinneth thy wheel. <laughs> the next wheel is the jab. Jab. And what's part of the jab? What's part of the jab? Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> that was a close one. We got crafter. Crafter, okay. It's a crafter, okay. What what was it close to? Uh, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have been a little more difficult to do in the eighteen hundreds. Uh, okay, crafter is is reasonable, reasonable. Uh, they were crafting pyramids back then, probably. In, yeah, in, in, building stuff, you know, little, little tents. Uh, what's treasure our treasure hunt? Yeah, what's let's, our next? Let's let's let's, let's, let's. I craft thou pyramid. <laughs> uh, craft thy pyramid, squire. Just trying to workshop. Yeah, live. Yeah. I like it. I like it. We're it's gonna. Stuff. I you know I forget what the lingo was back then. They all kind of spoke the same. Yeah, like yeah. Well, just think about Shakespeare. 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 I, I like, okay, that that makes it easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll Very complicated, long winded monologues. I, I think he was way after that, but <laughs> whatever. We just talk like Shakespeare. <laughs> we'll just say Shakespeare. <laughs> the next wheel is the flaw. All right, spin Can't that wheel. Flaw. Spin that wheel. He has daddy issues. <laughs> Man. I okay. definitely have those. <laughs> I understand. Me too. Don't we all? Don't we all? I mean, not all of us. Some are, some are all right. But I think if you're doing a podcast. Daddy issues? Most likely. That's yeah. That's probably another spinoff idea for a podcast <laughs> called Daddy Issues. I'd like to see the graph. Yeah. You know, the numbers. You're a podcast host. Daddy issues. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. We'll need to crunch the numbers yeah. and figure that one out. So this is... He's a crafter in crafter. the 1800s, and he has daddy issues. Um, man, uh, I'm kind of, should this be like Shakespeare's son? Yes. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to say yes, eh? Like, uh, uh, what's like a shitty ass name? Like, Will just hated his kid, man. Like, uh, freaking Bart. Bart Shakespeare. Nah, that sounds kind of <laughs> that sounds kind of fresh though. Bart <laughs> Shakespeare. <laughs> okay, so where are we at here? We're in the Craig. What time period we're in? Like 1800, 1800. 1800s. We're gonna say the Renaissance time. We're right during the Renaissance. That, that's the, the right time, right? Fourteen. The eighteen oh. hundreds. Fourteen hundreds, but I mean it, it's all the same. It's all the 
Mm. It's all one big not long Civil nothing. War. <laughs> I think we should pick the UK, whatever that was back then, just so we can nail down that. Oh, we're doing accents today, baby. We're doing accents. <laughs> you got to do an accent. <laughs> My name is M- Miles. Miles Pork and Beans. <laughs> <laughs> Miles Pork and Beans Shakespeare. I'm much better than my father was. Pork, pork and beans could be the two kids. Oh, oh so kid. one of them's name is Pork, one, the other one's yeah, name is Beans. Got, somebody got kids. Pork you know? Shakespeare? Pork, <laughs> pork and beans. <laughs> Will's, Will's like, Pork and beans, get your asses in here. Don't do- thou not clean thy room. <laughs> We're doing twin crafters. <laughs> nice. Okay. Do we have another wheel? One more wheel, the antagonist. Yeah, okay. All right, let's spin that antagonist wheel. See what we're dealing with. Antagonist. I lost my wheel. The nemesis is their dentist. Um, was there dentists back then? Oh, there's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> um, but legit question: How did you handle teeth stuff back I then? I think they just pulled them out. Man. They pulled them out. Right? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Do you think dentist? Like, so okay. Was dentist an actual profession back then? Like, would you? I think they just got dentists in the UK like last year, man. Right? <laughs> I'd just be curious to know what like the process of like implanting wooden teeth. Oh yeah, they did do wooden teeth. They huh? did dentures. Did they do anything with teeth back then? Like, did they like put them in necklaces or make pianos out of them? Oh, or something I, I like wouldn't that? doubt it. Mm. I'm almost certain of it, actually. You know? Yeah. Okay. Well, one connection I can definitely see is kids hating their dentists because I hated I hated my dentist when I was a kid. So um, I could definitely see that. But um, shoot, yeah. What was the flaw? Uh, daddy issues. Daddy issues. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a we have a dentist in the Renaissance <laughs> with daddy issues. Yeah. No, the dentist is the antagonist. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The bad guy. The bad guy. Bad dentist. That's a good movie. Like Bad Teacher. Yeah. <laughs> bad dentist. That's the name of it. Um, man, where do I? Where do we even begin? Like, should the main character be pork or beans? Like, do, yeah, I need to banter a little bit. Are they? Are they? They're twins. Do they like each other? I don't. I don't think so. They do, hate each other. I think they be spies. So, like, one of them's like an evil twin. <laughs> Which one's the evil one? Beans is the evil Beans one. Is for sure. evil. Beans is tired of being second. Pork and beans pork have and beef. Beans. Pork maybe could be the evil one. Mm. Pork's pretty impure. Mm. Oh, that's a good point. Maybe pork was born like five seconds before Beans was, so he has a superiority complex. I'm the older brother. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm the older brother. How old are these kids? Maybe they're a little older. Yeah, I think you gotta be at least in your twenties to have daddy issues, right? I mean, what if we? <laughs> This is so dumb. <laughs> what if we made pork a dentist? Pork and, is the dentist. And Beans is the main character. Beans Shakespeare. I'm with that. Beans is a crafter. Oh, he doesn't want to do poetry. He just wants to craft things. He dreams of a world of skyscrapers, giant buildings. Okay. okay. A real not, renaissance man, yeah. you'd say. Huh? Yeah, yeah. But, like, uh, he doesn't want to take after his father. Billy uh, Shakes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Billy Shakes. <laughs> Billy Shakes. <laughs> So, Dr. Pork, <laughs> I'm just going to throw a scene out there. We'll see Mr. where it Pork lands. Shanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Pork Shank. Yes, what do you want? I would like an order of pork shanks um, with the spicy barbecue sauce. Sir, this is a dentist office. <laughs> <laughs> I was told on Tuesdays that pork shank would be here. Well, you heard wrong, sir. Do you want these teeth extracted from your ugly face or not? I want pork shanks. <laughs> but yes, I, my canine needs to be pulled. It's given me much pain. I think I know just what to do about that. He um, goes over to his candle and he just very subtly lights the sleeve of uh, the guy who's talking to him. Now he's set on fire. <laughs> so, uh, you know, he runs out. The next appointment is uh, Beans. Beans comes in. You mind playing Beans? I could be Beans. Beans is going to be the main character. He's a craft. You know, you look like a Beans. (laughs) Beans is a good name. Beans Shakespeare goes hard, too. (laughs) Oh, if it isn't my less successful brother, Beans, what do you want here today? I would like a pork shank. (laughs) He also (laughs) wants a pork shank. Uh, (laughs) So I see the devious one before was your doing. You set someone up to ask for pork shanks. Yes. Very funny. Very 
Very just true. He was my underling. Oh, shit. They're constantly pulling pranks on each other. It's like their thing. Oh, you're so clever, Beans. He put up a <laughs> sign out front that said free shake. <laughs> you think just because my name was Pork that you can just have people ask for pork shanks, Beans? I'm tired of living in your chateau. <laughs> When's Beans gonna get a chance to shine? He wants recognition from his father. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, Pork, uh, kind of wanders off to the window looking out and he says, that will never happen. You were born after, meaning that God chose me as his chosen <laughs> one. What do you want? You want a teeth extraction, yes. Beans? Yes, very much. Let me see your teeth. He, uh, he shows his teeth and they're just absolutely hideous. <laughs> <He's just laughs> bugs. They are. Ah, I see. Uh, you put are- extra sugar in my cereal when we were younger. That's true. You knew this would happen. I did. I basically Swiss cheese. Now. And guess what? <laughs> the teeth extraction won't happen today or yesterday or tomorrow or the day after that. You will always have ugly teeth, Beans. <laughs> said, Fuck you, Beans. Now, if there's nothing else, I ask you to leave my office. I'll be back. Go say hi to daddy for me. Damn. Right my in father the never spot. loved me. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Um, so I think we, we got to, uh, have a scene of, you know, Will Shakespeare is, this is, we're going to say this is like after he's kind of had his like run, you know, he's pretty, he's a, he's a household name. He's famous. He's kind of older now. He got bitches. Yeah. Yeah. He's got those. Um, Mm -hmm. but he's just writing in his, like, you know, his loft area. No. Better yet, he has someone writing for him. I think he's got a soft top. Soft top. Carriage. Soft top with some spokes. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Four White horses. Walls and spokes. <laughs> so he's uh he's in this uh, he's in this convertible. We'll see if it's a convertible. <laughs> it's convertible carriage. But it's the, it's it's as fancy as it could get. It's a convertible soft top. Yeah, convertible. <laughs> Bada bam. He got a Z Rock. <laughs> um thing. Can I have, uh, Nuckety, can I have you play Shakespeare? What's he doing in this scene? So he, he's riding down the, the, I want to, I want to say street, but, uh, it's a dirt road. It's a, it's a dirt road. <laughs> uh, he's riding down the dirt road in his, uh, in his soft top carriage. He got two bitches with him and he's mm-hmm. just, man, he's just, he's just flossing, man. He's just, oh, you're so lovely, Will. <laughs> he has a, <laughs> he has somebody in the back seat playing the harp for him. <laughs> this is pork, right? No, this is, uh, mm-hmm. Billy Shakes. This is, uh, William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare, okay. the dad, dad. Mm hmm. And he's like, <laughs> what's their like is to grip, madam? Oh, I very much would. Too bad they're all for me. <laughs> oh, so, so funny. <laughs> he's a very unlikable. He's a famous <laughs> asshole. Who is this famous composer you play <laughs> on these magic boxes of sound? <laughs> Crank it up. That's <laughs> my job. The B.I.G. Notorious. <laughs> B.I.G. Notorious. <laughs> Tell us more about these things from the future, Sir Shakespeare. He was getting paid, paid. So Billy Shakes. Um, Beans runs up on the carriage. Hello, Father. Oh, sorry, you're Beans. Oh, yeah, I'm Beans. Yeah, you're, you're hitting up Will Shakespeare. Hello, Father, how are you? Who the hell are you? I'm your son. Oh, oh, right, right, my bad. Your favorite son, the one that makes you so happy all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Does I, I do everything for you, Father? Yes, yes, very much. Where's your brother at? He's he's somewhere doing something l- less important than me. Um, that doesn't sound like him. He's usually better than you. No, he's a failure. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear to see. <laughs> he's got hepatitis, Father. <laughs> I fear. What? I fear the worst for. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the worst for Brother Pork. We must go to his aid. <laughs> Your brother. No, I don't think that's uh, that's necessary. No. If he is in pain, we must be there for him. This is why he is my favorite and you are not. <laughs> my favorite son. I was thinking we could go get some pork shanks, Father, with the spicy barbecue yes. sauce. You know, I did see a sign out front of his establishment that said pork shanks. Free pork shanks. On shank. Tuesdays. <laughs> I went there Isn't and they Tuesday? said, no, there's no pork shanks here. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't know what. <laughs> I know I'm like sinking into like a German accent. <laughs> we don't know accents. He should know pork shanks here. <laughs> well, then we should bring him some pork shanks. And uh, at this point, um, someone else, uh, one of one of uh, Will's um, bodyguards, comes in front and says, "Hey, Will is very important right now. Beans, you'll have to get out of here. He's got something busy. Yeah, to work to fuck do. off, Beans. <laughs> fuck off, in it. 
<laughs> and uh, Be- Beans is trying to uh, Beans is trying to to get some extra money for one of his crafting projects. He's got a real big like like passion project that he's trying to create, okay, and um, you know he just wanted he wanted to at least look presentable and get this teeth extraction. But his brother, of course, will never do his teeth because he sucks and he wants him to suffer. <laughs> well, he basically wanted to present a slideshow. Mm, yeah. And he wanted to have his teeth done yeah. for this presentation. Yep. Wants to look good. So uh, unless there's something you want, Beans, you're going to have to get get out of here. Go grovel somewhere. No, I demand, I demand choir in the conference room. <laughs> <gasps> Everyone comes <laughs> Demand a choir in the conference room. I've got a PowerPoint. <laughs> William's like, not now. My son needs me, and he pulls off and just <laughs> goes to Borks. I have a projector screen. But it's a projector screen. Do you have a you have a point that you'd want to make power to? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Beans? Well, I don't know what the projection screen is, but here projections is a- are whatever they want to be. Okay. <laughs> Pork. Oh. Don't do not talk to me about. Projections. I'm not pork. I'm I'm beef. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I get confused. My brother has a rather unrecognizable, forgettable face. Mm. That makes sense. Yes, you're much more successful, brother. Anyways, Thank fine. You. We'll leave. We'll leave. We'll let you and and Thank you. your daddy talk. But you must stay for the PowerPoint. All right, fine. <laughs> this day. <date. laughs> <laughs> so everyone gathers around. Where's this PowerPoint taking place? In the conference room. All right. So we the cut, main hall. We we cut to the conference room, main hall. It's very like luxurious. This is like Will's manor, right? Um, it's I'm imagining like really fucking huge high s- ceilings. Like marble. The banquet room. Yeah, yeah. It's just freaking beautiful. Just nice. Long ass it's table. So nice it's really here. nice. It makes Microsoft look like naked shit, women honestly. and men in there. Yes. <laughs> serving us food. There's na- naked women on each corner of the room, actually, on beanbag chairs. Saucy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we have uh, one of the squires pulling out uh, the best thing that they could find for a projection screen, which is just kind of a rock, like a chalk rock and like some chalk. So uh, uh, this, this this is the best we could do, uh, Beans. We don't know what a projection screen is. It doesn't really <laughs> make sense. But if you want to design something and show us, here's some chalk. No, I must. Where is my projector? Oh, I demand my projector. It was stolen from me. <laughs> my device from the future was stolen from me. This is all a plot by my brother, Pork. Um, he always would do this to me as a child. He wants all the fame and the credit. Beef whispers to to William, I think uh, Beans is going through something right now. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get a presentation. We should just wrap this up. You have an appointment, Will. Oh, uh, you you didn't have white uh, claws of white on uh, afternoon of the Lord. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, Beef, you judge me for having. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I am going through something. It's very traumatic for me. <laughs> He's just rambling in the corner. <laughs> really looking at him. <laughs> they stole my projector. It's my device from the future. It displays pictures upon the wall. I do not have need for this barbaric chalk that you speak of. What is he? There's rumbling around the court. What is he talking about? I don't know. Sounds impossible. I'm very lost. Oh my god! Someone just some random person says, "Get on with it! What do you got to show us? Bloody! What do you want money for? Get on with it! In it! <laughs> Come on! I want to see the show. <laughs> beef, uh, beef, uh, kind of bulks up. He's like, "All right." We're going to need to know what exactly you're trying to do here, Beans, or we're getting out of here. I've wanted to show a presentation about my brother and how much he does not mean to me. <laughs> because fuck He's that despicable. guy. He's despicable. Fuck, fuck my brother. <laughs> <laughs> fuck him. His feet stink. I just, I had a presentation that was 45 minutes and 37 seconds long. He's just talking shit the whole time. Sitting on my brother. <laughs> That's all the memory I had left in my memory card. (laughs) William's like, we don't have time for this. And he just pulls the fucking, uh, he snaps his fingers. And then all those people come and grab him, put him in the carriage, and they drive off while he's still talking. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. 
I actually love that scene. We're going to cut to now. Um, is there like a jail in these times? Yeah, I, I think so. Okay, they threw his ass in jail. Roman Nude? He, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's in a luxury, high luxury jail. And, who, uh, who, Beans? Beans, yeah. And uh, just like to, to cool him off because he's, he's obviously like, you know, really upset, upset. With, with pork. Yeah. yeah. So now we're going to have this scene, um, <laughs> whatever this would look like in the 1800s. Uh, a scene between Will and um, Beans, um, and Will's Will's purpose is he's just yeah, like the Civil War. <laughs> Will is just trying to figure out what's what's going on with 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 Beans. Like, why does he hate his brother? Oh, he so cares. Much? A little. Well, he just wants to know. He's he's really embarrassed. He's like, why did you embarrass me? You made me look foolish in front of my council. What do you have to say for yourself, boy? I'll do it again. I'll do it all over again. I'll <laughs> fuck them all. Fuck you, Daddy. <laughs> Leave me alone. It, it hurts me when you say mean, nasty things to your daddy. You're not my father. <laughs> I banish you. I'm, I banish you, father. I'm pretty sure I gave it to one of your mothers. Uh, one, of the, one of those women was your mother, right? <laughs> I've been around. <laughs> wow, he's had lots of ladies. I've, you know. Ever since you started wearing South Pole jeans, father, you started acting very peculiar and different to me, and I don't appreciate it. This... Jeans are the highest caliber jeans. <laughs> I will not be made a fool by my own son. He's just really let's, upset about yeah. the jeans. Let's, let's let's get meta real quick. Let's let's get meta real quick. So, Beans, he's becoming more of a crafter of like hate than. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I think he's we should roll with that. <laughs> I think we should roll with that. Like so so he, he's maybe maybe he's trying to craft like revenge. Like, yeah. does he want revenge against Pork? Yeah, my bad. I started, I'm so, you know. I'm so mad at my brother that I lost sight of what my intentions were to really do. <laughs> I wanted to craft a nice bench for father that he would appreciate. A nice bench. <laughs> that he could sit on in the, in the garden. A nice bench for father in the garden. Wait, how much money are you asking for craft a bench? Probably a lot of money back then, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, I mean, a bench is, yeah, yeah, yeah. You so, know, it was a lot of work. 40,000 pounds. Bench. You got to oh. cut a whole tree down by hand. Wow. So this is a PowerPoint presentation pitching to get money to build a bench for a father a in father. the garden. Okay. By saying fuck pork. How does, uh, how does William feel after hearing that? Uh, if, if you, if, if you, if you need money, you need only ask. I'm chocked full of the stuff. It's, a, it's coming out of my rear end, if you will. If you want to make me a present, of course, you can have whatever you want. Your accent reminds me of Teddy Perkins. I'm sorry. Off Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at accents. No, no it's fucking funny. <laughs> Dang. So, uh, <laughs> William is kind of, uh, taking a, I actually did not see this going this direction, honestly. <laughs> Wait, no, do you ever? <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, no. So, okay. This show is lunacy, man. That's, not, that's how it goes when you got me, too. I'm a wild card. <laughs> Perfect. You're on the right <laughs> podcast. Because this is definitely not good, but we, we're doing our we're, best. We're, you know, you know we're, we're working. We're working. So, I will say that's act one. Cut! 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 All right. So, we're back. And let's spin a topic wheel to kind of throw a wrench in this story and give us something else to work with. This will be our last wheel. Let's murder that world. Let's murder it. Get a bench in the garden for father. Food. Food. Just food? Mm hmm. Me or you wrote food. One of us did. The, God damn it. All right. Food. Um, Ooh. Pork and beans. Pork and beans. Uh, Shit. God. Pork That's, and beans. <laughs> okay. So, um,. I want to establish before we continue, like you guys had this scene. William basically said, if you need money for your bench project, I will offer it to you. Because it's for him. Because it's for him, of course. But uh, Beans needed some time to process that. So he didn't really like respond to it. But he's going to spend he spent the day in jail. Meanwhile, Pork, the ever rival of Beans, has something plotting. OK. He's got some plotting going plotting on his on next plan on me huh yeah plotting on old beans <laughs> so we got a scene during the nighttime and um pork is uh you know he's at his uh father's estate he says yeah <laughs> beans in jail again i can't say i'm surprised father <laughs> yes and you offered uh what to 
take on his project, the price of it? But of course, it's a present for me. Oh, but why, Father? I could just simply because buy I you a bench. Because love presents. <sighs> Father, listen, why not just banish him from the family? He's no good. He always has a presentation, he says, and talks about projectors. He's absolutely insane, Father. Yes, 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 yes of course, he is insane. But... His insanity breeds creativity. Gives me more to write about. Oh, God. You always talk about your writings. Hamlet is not going to be picked up, Father. Nobody likes that story. Don't you dare speak to me that way, boy. Oh. You are my favorite, but I will not hesitate to, to cane you. That's what they did, right? They cane him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Father. I see I'll have to deal with this myself. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you later, my favorite son. <laughs> Does not give a shit. No. He's too busy. He's too fu busy fucking so bitches to give money. <laughs> like, I want that bench. God damn it, I like presents. Love presents. <laughs> Beans is slowly buying his way back into my... Her. He's about to be my go from my number two to my number one. <laughs> crafting his way back into my, into my heart. So, um... Beans is still in jail, but Pork is vigilant. He goes to. I want to know. Yeah. Why? Why? How Beans got into jail? Was he going like? So you know? they they put him in there Did to cool get, him off because he was he was acting hysterical. He was wild essentially. Out. He was yeah. talking about projectors. Got caught with a couple harlots, couple yeah. ladies of the night going over the limit of speed. Yeah, actually, let's let's um let's insert that scene in there. So how did he get into jail? So. We're going to do a flashback of him getting escorted out. Pulling a Charlie Sheen. Yeah, very Charlie Sheen. Yeah. And so Beans now, you know, he's making everyone's just kind of like dispersing and not talking to Beans. He's just he's kind of the outcast, but he's making eyes with one of the harlots. Ooh, a harlot. She's playing the harp, you know, harplet, rather harplets. Harplets. That? <laughs> That's what they call them. Um, insert sex scene. Go ahead, Foley. We just starting off with sex. You got sex scene, Foley. Well, I was just gonna say insert sex scene. Dot dot dot. <laughs> we don't have to. We don't have to put it in there. I mean, we don't gotta show it. We're not gonna take it. This is my favorite song. <laughs> Woman of the night. That's what they listen to I, while they I've, fuck. I've never heard this song. We're not gonna take it's it. It's from the future. No, we're not gonna take it. I'm scared. <laughs> I've loved the song. It's from the future. Where is it coming from? <laughs> it's from my magic music box. Um, so, uh, you know, as they're getting it on singing that, um, <laughs> one of the, you know, beef comes through. This is his lady. What are you, what in the tall nation? I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't say tall nation. Tall nation. <laughs> oi, 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 what's going on here? <laughs> My nigga said, oi. Oi. <laughs> beef. You're you sleeping with my wife. A oh, oh, beef. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm I, ought to, I ought to kick your ass right now. We felt like making love. I don't care if your wheels, son. I'm going to kill you right now. Where's my stabbing knife? He looks through his drawer, trying to find a stabbing knife. Now, where'd you put it, darling? I can't find the stabbing knife anywhere. Let me look through the drawer. Uh, let me look through the drawer. Is Dean doing anything while he's <laughs> looking for I'm <laughs> No, he's grabbing her to like make it seem like he was robbing her. Kind of oh. like, oh shit. You know the, do you know the story behind the Biggie song, I Got a Story to Tell? No. Well, in the story, he's like fucking around with some chick. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently she was dating somebody on the New York Knicks. Oh, Ooh, drama. And he came home while they were getting busy. And so. You know, in the song, he said, you know, so he like on the fly makes it look like he was uh, robbing her. Oh, so he Biggie Smalls. Like, and, he, and he like made her go along with it. Sweet Rooney. And okay. then like, yeah. <laughs> Sweet and then it was like a big old like, oh, for a long time, like who who was the New York Knicks player? Okay. Okay. So let's roll with this. So he's looking for this knife and then he looks over to see Beans is holding, um, our, can I, we'll, we'll, Call her, um, her, her Laisha, her Laisha, <laughs> one star, her Laisha. And, uh, he's holding, holding her at knife point. Boy, what, what's going on here? You're, you're, you're threatening to kill her beans. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she was in here listening to this raucous music, sexual undertones. 
Like she wanted to have sex, and I felt like it was the perfect time to rob her. <laughs> well, why, why are your clothes off? I usually go naked when I rob people. <laughs> it's easier to move around. It, yes. Uh, all right, then. Well, you're, you're free to take whatever you want. I feel like the stakes are higher, because if they have a weapon and they try to attack me, I know that if it hits me, it will hurt, because I have no protection. So I'm very squirrely. <laughs> I'm able to get out of situations. That's incentive. Oh my! Well, all right, uh, Harlesha, is this true? You you were you weren't banging this guy? He was just robbing you? Of course not, Beef. I would never do that to you. Please help me. All, all right. Well, you know, just you know, we don't have much beans, but just take what you want. Get out of here. You know, let me sleep with my wife. <laughs> not a lot of money. <laughs> they did not give a fuck about women, man. <laughs> Like, yeah, whatever, okay. Well, I, I will have to report this to author- proper authority. So. <laughs> shall banish you through stoning. Her. Beam, for getting robbed beam, by a naked man. Beams, uh, <laughs> Beans pushes her on the I bed. I am the victim here. <laughs> Why am I getting stoned? Be- Beans pushes her on the bed, and, um, you know, he gets, gets uh, he tries to run out. I'm kind of picturing Beans as kind of a, squir- a squirrely, small, like, he just kind of can get roughed up a little bit, so yeah. he's like... So just got beef, little man syndrome. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. beef grabs him, detains him. That's how he got put in jail. Okay. Yeah. Punches him a couple extra times in the face. Yeah. <laughs> so let, we're gonna go fast forward to Pork. He's at the jail cell. But yeah. I, before we go there, I just yeah. want to make sure that it is understood that because a naked man touched her, they did stone her to death. Yes. Because yes. She is it's a woman, a and that is not okay. That's not okay. Not okay <laughs> to exist. <laughs> So, moving on, and, you know, that, and, and it's not her story, damn it. It's me, the story. We're not worried about her. We're not worried about her. The consequences of cheating, not for Beans, but for her. For her, of course. Yes, okay. This is <laughs> the saga of pork and beans. Who will attain their father's approval? So, we're at the jail, and Pork is talking to the warden, or whoever's on duty, and says... <laughs> duty? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. And says... I would like you to serve this to my brother. And it's just some gruel. He said, what is what is this, sir? It's food. I spit in it. Uh, That's his master plan. He spits his food. <laughs> we, I was, all due respect, sir, we already spit in our food. It's not <laughs> really any different. <laughs> you spit in it or someone else. It's the year, my lord. 1324. Of course we spit in it. I will pay you some money to serve this one in particular. All right. So he takes it. Um, we cut to... Uh, uh, Beans is uh, doing a freestyle inside the jail cell. Um, <laughs> Beans, go ahead and, and drop a freestyle that he's doing. I was sitting with my pail, with my tools, crafting my bench for my father. He was getting cool, he was getting close, almost finished the bench, had to go a little farther. Hey, 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 no freestyle poetry on here. This is quiet hours. I thought this was open mic night in the <laughs> courtyard. It's shut your trap night and here's some food. I don't think throws the food on the ground and it's uh it's a uh, particular it looks particularly bad it actually just does look like shit in a bowl there's hair <laughs> and hair yeah hair in it for sure um beans you know people underestimate beans yeah he can also do slam poetry he can do slam poetry he can do slam poetry, yeah. 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 Slam poetry. If, if only his father you know supported if, him if he could only yeah. see that you fostered know? you know um but beans is able to catch on um people would call him crazy for this but He's able to catch on that this is a ploy from Pork. Pork puts mm-hmm. something in that food to, yeah. try, to try to turn him. So what, is, uh, what does Beans do? Well, it's uh, the Renaissance, so Beans is probably starving. So Beans is probably going to dig right in. He's going to eat it anyway. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> he mumbles to himself, you know, I'm sure Pork puts something in here, but I'm, I'm famished. <laughs> exactly. All right. So yeah. he eats it all up and uh, he gets very, but very. Is it fatal? It's not fatal. But, uh, yeah, it's not fatal because we don't want to end the. Yeah, yeah. That would be kind of a. He can't suffer if he's dead. <laughs> um, we're going to say he's got the shits, though, and yeah. uh, he's kind of out of it. Uncontrolled. You know? uh, high, high, high fever. Yeah. Um, next day, you know, you say, all right, your time's out. They kick him out of jail. He's still got the shits, you know. He, but. He's sick enough to not be able to create this bench, which is the cornerstone project of his entire life. And it's, it's, it's quite a conundrum because he's, he's like, you know, he's at his hovel uh, where he's trying to build and he just keeps shitting. Like it just won't <laughs> stop. 
So, uh, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, that gave me a brilliant idea. Mm. Please share. This is a, so he's, he's working on the, he's working on the bench, but he has a shit. So he, he invents the toilet. Oh shit. Literally. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. That could be the thing. That guy is a tide. Bean Shakespeare invented the toilet. Bean Shakespeare invented the toilet. That's, I mean, I've seen that in the history books. Facts. It's probably true, right? Facts. That coupled with the bench. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. You just put a hole in the bench. Crafted a toilet and a bench. Yo, we're going to take a short break and get back to this amazing story. Amazing. Amazing. Stay tuned. <laughs> Cut! Hey, we're back. Before we jump back into this story, let's run that sponsor. What do we got today? Some random guy who said he'll sponsor us. Ah, this podcast is sponsored by some random guy off the street who said he'll sponsor us. You know, um, when I approached this one person, um, you know, I wasn't nice about it. I was very threatening. I'm a very big guy, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> We actually cornered him in an alleyway. He had nowhere to go. And we said, will you pretty, pretty please, with a cherry on top, sponsor our podcast? And he was like, I'll do whatever you tell me. Just please, please don't hurt me, please. <laughs> yeah. Initially, he said no, but we uh, had some convincing arguments that he said yes to. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's all I'll say. We're going to leave this one real cryptic. Real cryptic. We was a random alleyway. But, you know, we just want to say thank you. Um, you Thanks, know, We really guy. appreciate you. Yeah. We couldn't have done this without you. Um, we hope uh, you're okay. I'm sure you will be now that you've sponsored our podcast. Um, See that your uh, encampment has moved. Mm-hmm. And uh, that you're doing all right. You know, just uh, keep all those teeth intact. Yeah. And once we get the money... We'll return your ID, so there's no trouble. Thank you so much for sponsoring us. We'll get back to this story. So, a quick recap. We are in the 1800s. Our main character is Bean Shakespeare, son of William Shakespeare. Willie Billy. His dream is to uh, build a bunch for his papa. Um, he is a, Did you say build a bunch? A, a, I said build a bench. Okay. He is a crafter who wants to build a bench for Shakespeare, William Shakespeare. But he has a problem by the name of Pork Shakespeare, who is a dentist that hates his brother and wants to see him suffer. Um, so after a pretty abysmal presentation of him trying to get funding from William, Pork is now plotting to pretty much get, get Beans out of the family. He tried lacing his food. Beans seemed to be okay with that, but he is shitting. And Beans just had a brilliant idea. An epiphany, if you will. Something to do with shitting himself and crafting and benches. Yeah. Beans, what's, it, what's, what's Beans' thought process right now as he's shitting, uh, you know, dookie juice, like drizzling, <laughs> drizzling well, he's, down? Well, he's consumed with the whole thought of obviously coming up with this bench for his father <laughs> in the garden. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, and then obviously things are not going uh, as planned again for him. So, you know, he's wherever you would be at shitting his brains out, mm -hmm. you know. And then he's like thinking about sitting on a bench, you know. And then he was started thinking about um, shitting <laughs> mm -hmm. and just like how could he come up with a way. There's got to be an easier way to shit. Mm, there's yeah, gotta be know, an easier way. Yeah. There's gotta be an easier way. Because they were just yeah. they were just pooping in their hands and throwing it in the river, right? Like they didn't, yeah. they didn't know. I think they had some type of shaft that would just like shoot it out into a ravine. Or maybe this was before then. I, I do want to take a quick pause and just remind everybody that we are not historians and we don't know what happened before yeah. 1980. So <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. this isn't about accuracy, this is about a bad story. So just you know, mind your business. For or, sure, they had outhouses in the 1800s. Or we're shocking correct and this is exactly <laughs> how the toilet was invented in my first brain i'm pretty ever. sure we're right this, this is right so 1855 was the year of the first toilet mm -hmm. <laughs> surprise surprise actually surprise surprise. <laughs> surprise so beans is formulating this idea in his head and he's he's realizing that it's going to need a couple components to actually work while he's shitting himself he's thinking mm -hmm. this um so he knows a couple people in the shitting industry <laughs> who he can talk to. Um, the shit industry. <laughs> the shit, shit industry. The sh shit industry. Shit industry. 
Anyways. The the biz. <laughs> the the dookie biz. So poop shoot. The boo boo biz. <laughs> the so uh Beans knows a guy named um Fred Flintstone. Fuck no. I've, I've heard that name somewhere before. before. Uh, we'll call him like fucking what what's a what's a good plumber name? Thaddeus. Thaddeus. Thaddeus is yeah. plumber name. So, so he knows Thaddeus, who Thaddeus the plumber no, is, is not quite plumbing. <laughs> He's not quite plumbing yet because it's not invented yet. But he does like putting pipes together. So he we're gonna have pipes. a we're gonna have a scene of beans. So so we're gonna cut to uh, Thaddeus is roto rooters. Yeah, Thaddeus <laughs> roto rooters. <laughs> Freaking just a little hovel, like a freaking uh, little shack, and he's just it's just a dog tied to a stick. And yeah, pushes it. And, he's, and uh, and beans Through comes advertisement, in. Advertisement: We get Lynch of Marshawn. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Stop freaking call Thaddeus. Yeah. <laughs> Stop freaking call Thaddeus. Uh, beans, what do you what do you want? What do you <clears throat> beans? What do you want? What do you want? Mm. I don't know what this accent is, but uh, <laughs> I had a genius idea. I'm gonna call it the toilet. It's where you, it's where you relieve yourself. What? Oh, interesting. And it goes into a system of pipes, and it goes somewhere where you don't have to deal with it ever. He's inventing the toilet and the sewage system right now. Wait, yes. Wait a moment. You, you did you change the game. I've changed the whole narrative of the story now. I've added another element. It means you usually lose me with your your monologues. <laughs> you lost does. me at the toilet, but you had me at pipes. <laughs> he I fucking love, loves pipes. I fucking love pipes. This is what Beans does. You're telling me. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me uh, find my accent. Uh, and here. I came oh. to you, Thaddeus, because you, you are the man. You're telling me. <clears throat> you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> That's your plumber. <laughs> you. You're telling me that you want to make something where people shit into the pipes and the pipes lead to another pipe and all the pipes are connected to a pipe that leads to a bunch of shit? Yes. Well, that's, well, that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> fucking brilliant, That's what mate. I'm saying, mate. I like how your accent landed on, like, Brooklyn, but also <laughs> London. <laughs> well, fucking... Hey, yo, you mount a fucking toilet? <laughs> Beans, that's fucking brilliant. It's fucking amazing. Holy shit, Beans. I didn't know you were so fucking, fucking brilliant, isn't it? Brilliant. Holy shit. In it. In it. Speaking Bloody. of shit, you're actually shitting on my floor right now. What's going, what's going on? I haven't invented the toilet yet. That's why I came to you. <laughs> there's nowhere I to just, put it. There's nowhere to put it. I'm well, just shitting wherever I walk. Okay, well, we should probably get started with this. Where, where, where should we go? It's leaking. <laughs> it's it's running down my legs. It's, it's very warm. Do you there's know a digger? The Grave Digger. I know the Grave Digger Tom. Oh, the Grave Digger Tom. Oh, Tom's kind of weird, but all right. He, oh. But he loves digging. Uh, I'll talk to Tom. But his apprentice Dave is very much less weird. The Grave Digger's apprentice Dave. All right, I'll, talk, I'll talk to him. The Grave Digger Dave's apprentice. Uh, or well, Mark. Let's have you not. <laughs> Mark, is a good, <laughs> Mark is a good Grave Digger name. <laughs> Mark is a very good grave digger name. I've known, <laughs> I've known very many grave diggers named Mark. <laughs> I know another man who draws. I don't know how to draw, so <laughs> I'm only a crafter. This is 1800s. Only everybody only has one skill. This is true. Nobody is multi-talented, faceted at anything. If you know how to make blankets, that's the only thing you know how to do. This is true. Why are you telling me this? I know this. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Exposition done. I was reminding myself. <laughs> All right, Beans. All right. But I have a drawer because I cannot draw. So he will come up with the blueprint and then we will get in touch with Mark, the grave digger. And then Mark will get in contact with you, the man with the pipes. Thaddeus. Thaddeus. That is my name. Thaddeus of Roto Rooter. That's great. All right. I'll tell you what. We're going to get this all together. I'll meet <laughs> you over at the, at the, at the hill. You know what I'm talking about, right? The hill. Yes. The Blueberry Hill. Blueberry Hill, of course. Uh, it's a good, it's a good <laughs> spot for shitting. It's a good spot for shitting. You start building this here toilet and I'll get all the other parts together. I'll get a drawer. I'll get the pipes. And I'll get a grave digger, Tom or Dave or Mark. I forgot what the fuck one of the names it's Mark. are. It's Mark. Right, it's Mark. All right. It's All very right. common grave digger name. We've established this. You're correct. You're, you're right, B. I'm Most sorry. grave diggers are named Mark. I'll, we'll meet you over there. That is. 
Um, I'm Thaddeus. We'll, we'll meet you, you over there, Beans. Moss is a good friend. <laughs> Thaddeus out. Thaddeus out. <laughs> All right. So we're in Act Three territory. Um, we got this. We got this. It's like a heist movie. We got this. This, this A team of yeah. of builders <laughs> making a toilet. And making a toilet. How is so? We're gonna cut real quick to Beans building this toilet. How is he doing it? The first toilet. It's Toilets Eleven right here. It's in like Ocean's Eleven, but Toilets. Mm, <laughs> toilets. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, later there'll be a slow motion walk of them walking uh, side by side. So what we're we at Mark. So um, well, we're how? So what's he like building this toilet out of? Is it like wood, or like is it? Yeah, the, like the pipes and stuff, like the irrigation system. Like, what's it made out of? I guess uh, clay. Oh snap, clay. Maybe I I'd probably feel pretty good. I'm sorry, I just remembered this whole thing was supposed to be a treasure hunt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The whole thing <laughs> to be a treasure hunt. The treasure was the idea. The treasure was the idea. The toilet. This <laughs> brown treasure. Oh this is a treasure like un, like no other. This is benefits all of humanity. Uh, <laughs> this is brown treasure. Oh my god! The brown treasure. How did this happen? Uh, we're so bad at this. <laughs> How did this happen? Okay, so. I want to enter the scene of a uh, freaking um, Thaddeus talking to fucking what's his name? Um, Mark. Mark. And Mark is indeed played by Nicolas Cage. Oh. Yeah. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Forgot what Mark does. Again. Okay, let's go. Hey, uh, Tom, I heard you have an apprentice here who can dig. Uh, are we pointing to this guy over here? Uh, what's your name, son? Uh, I'm. Mark. Mark, you got a really interesting face about you. Uh, you're good at uh, digging stuff. Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I love digging. Well, tell you what, there's no, like, treasure or anything in it, but, like, there's, like, the treasure of, like, you know, building something for the first time and, like, discovering invention and shit, but... Do you ever want to help human mankind here? No. <laughs> you don't want to help mankind, Mark? I said no, Thaddeus! Get that through a thick head! All right, all right, Mark. What if I told you there was treasure involved and you and you might make lots of money? Treasure, you say, huh? Yeah. Like um, maybe a national treasure? I'm not sure what you mean by that, but <laughs> sure. Yeah, there's, just, there's some kind of national treasure involved. Well, I'm in. I'm in if there's national treasure involved. All we need is for you to dig holes from a shitter to a shit place, essentially. I can do that, yeah. yeah I, love, I love to dig, so, so you know... The, have you heard of, of Cage of Nicholas? Who? No, no, I've never heard that name before. Yeah, this is Mark Nic Mark Nicholas, right? Yes, I'm Mark Nicholas. Uh, I'm a. F my name is Beans. <laughs> you forgot for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind him. He's. Uh, I'm also a fortune teller. I can read <laughs> the future. Oh. You, you will meet Cage of Nicholas in a dressing room, and he will <laughs> yell at you because he will be drunk in the morning. I don't know, this, this Nicholas guy sounds, he sounds really handsome, but uh, I don't know when I'm going to be in a dressing room. It's a trailer. It's his personal trailer. <laughs> You'll be there to serve him water, and he will say that it's bad water. Um, What's his name? Thaddeus, like, sl slaps Beans. Focus! <laughs> <laughs> We're Focus, on a mission. Beans! We gotta build this toilet! <laughs> what is this talk of trailers? That doesn't, do what is that? Can you actually read the future? <laughs> <laughs> he will be wearing Under Armour slides <laughs> in a hotel lobby. We don't know. He's like Kanye, man. Everybody thinks he's crazy, but he's really a genius. Yeah, he's just saying normal stuff. <laughs> he sees time. the future. Like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we cut to uh, Pork. He's visiting the jail, and he's like, <laughs> "My stupid brother's probably shitting his lungs out right now." And he goes uh, to the to the guard. And he's, and he's like, where's my brother? <laughs> he's probably dead, isn't he? What is this? My brother is out of jail? You're going to let that lunatic out? Yeah. Oh, for heaven's sake. We have to find him. We have to put him back. Oh, let's just kill him. Father doesn't care about him. He only cares about me. You don't need two sons. Am I right? Am I right, random god? Yes, two seems expressive. Oh, tell me where my brother is. Guy, I think I saw him down by the old windmill the, in, the old in Camden windmill. Town. The old windmill, you <laughs> stupid voice, yes. You know, some people think I have a nice voice, especially your wife. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> pork is is livid and he just leaves. Um, so he's on the hunt for for beans. Meanwhile, the crew is getting together. Uh, Toilets Eleven is being formed. Uh, we got <laughs> we got Mark Mark uh, Cage. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, you know, he's digging on Blueberry Hill. You know, he's he's really sweaty. Uh, does Mark say something as he's digging? You know, he's like, oh, man, I'm, I'm really sweaty digging this hill. <laughs> uh, we we have a, is, is we, very we, complex. We have really a, complex. We have a scene of uh, him digging and then he accidentally hits a, a hive of bees and they come after him. Oh, bees! Bees! Because he'd be doing that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> not the bees! Not the bees! No! Um... Uh, no, 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 no. Maybe that's the thing with Mark's backstory. He's all, he always gets attacked with bees. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Every for time. Sure. That's, why, always with the bees. that's why he was skeptical going in. Yeah. He because didn't. he's like, mm, I'm probably get stung by bees. <laughs> yep. But I'm almost certain of it. I'm, I'm going to run into bees here. <laughs> Thaddeus is putting together pipes. He's almost done. And um, he checks in with beans. How's it going, Beans? You almost finished? Yes, I think uh, I think the plans are just about there. Just about finished. Are you still shitting yourself? Can we test this thing with your current shit or what's what's going on? I'm still pooping myself. All right. Maybe excrement. Maybe just, you know, let's let's has just pulled upon my sandals. <laughs> <laughs> uh suddenly Pork shows up with the proper authorities. Um and Will's there too. Will Shakespeare? Will Shakespeare himself oh. is there. You want to you first learn basic with him? Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that you guys were just cool like that. Time and old name drop. And look who we have here, father. We have Beans up to his mischievous plots as usual. Actually, I have created a vice with four of my, three or four of my companions, and we have compiled the workings of the world's first toilet. <laughs> and a toilet, you say? <laughs> yes, I know how you like to sit, Father. What is that strange boy? Who are, who are you again? I am your son. He is nobody, Father. He's nobody. I and am Beans. <sighs> listen to you, Beans. You always thought you were better than me. Oh, don't listen to Pork. He's useless. Don't listen to Beans. He's useless. He's, he's done nothing but... What does he do, pull teeth? Yes. It's, it's stupid. You're not even a real doctor. <laughs> 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 It's not even a real doctor. He gets, a, he gets, a, he gets really uh, offended by this. I am a doctor. I am a doctor. <laughs> the doctor of teeth. How dare you? Nobody has teeth. You're doing a bad job at being a dentist. Nobody has teeth. Well, what do you think about this, Beans? He takes a freaking uh, club he found on the ground, like a tree branch bark thing, uh -huh. and he smashes the toilet, oh. destroys it. What the fuck, Pork? Not very good craftsmanship there, Beans. It had not been in the killing room long enough. Well, you, you can't really impress Father without a craft, can you, Beans? Well, I guess now Father has to live the rest of his life with his excrement pooling up with on his Under Armour sandals. Was there any alternative to that, my dear son? There was. It was called the toilet, but your... Failure of a son has ruined this. The toilet, you say? That yes. sounds brilliant. You poop into a hole and it goes away forever. All right, fine. I'll play. Mind Tell you what. Boggling. Tell you what, Beans. It took me seven years to make that <laughs> toilet. <laughs> Tell you what, Beans. If you can build this toilet in seven minutes, maybe I'll concede. Or else you're going back to jail and you cannot call yourself a Shakespeare ever again. Does that sound good to you, Father? Daddy? That sound good to you, Daddy? I mean, I would be able to fulfill this request, Father, but sadly, Mark has died from his bee stings. <laughs> I must find another digger. Oh, uh, oh, uh, they look, they look over. He's just like, <laughs> just all laying on the ground, <laughs> full of bee stings. His face is like really puffed up. <laughs> Mark is not doing well. Oh. He's gone over to the other side. Mark is dead. Um, Thaddeus says, we need someone else to build these, the, dig these holes. Do you know anyone else? Tom has another underling from the graveyard. Oh. It will take him many months. Who, Dave? Dave, yes. <laughs> Dave <laughs> has a new underling named Tom. Um, it's a very common name in the grave digging <laughs> field. It's the second most common name. <laughs> very <laughs> Many grave diggers named Tom. <laughs> 
So uh, just as he says that, Tom shows up and he says, oh, I suppose you're wrong about that, Beans. And what else but like four or five other apprentices behind him. We heard about your little project. We're tired of shitting in our hands and throwing it in the ocean. We want to build this toilet. Oh, man, my if, man's getting a team together. Especially if it works. Let's let's start digging, boys and girl. They're all like, we hate the dentist. <laughs> yeah, this is that part of the movie where the dude gets everybody on his side. Yeah. The yeah. whole town comes together. Yeah, we whole... fucking hate that dentist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pork is like, no, no, why are you getting all this help? That's not God, fair. Fuck the dentist. Jerry, <laughs> Jerry, I just... I fixed your teeth the other day. You, you just pulled pain. them out of my head. <laughs> I needed those teeth. I gave you wooden teeth. The wooden ones give my tongue but splinters. you gave me no antibiotics. He tries to plead with Father. Father, don't listen. Don't, this is such an idiotic idea, Father. Don't listen to him. Everyone just... hates the dentist. <laughs> I'm your son, Father. I'm sorry, I didn't mean for this story to turn on <laughs> pork. Um, no, pork must die. No, pork, pork, pork this is my me, redemption arc. Pork, pork can eat a dick, man. Pork he's, he's, has bad. To go. he's a bad person. Um, <laughs> he's a dentist. <laughs> 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 Um, Dentist. So Pork just has to witness, like, I think the, the greatest revenge for Pork is is just to witness this triumph that Beans is going to pull off. So all these people are pulling together. We got people digging. We got Thaddeus yeah. and a couple of his apprentices putting pipes together. Yeah. And we got uh, uh, Beans, like, working his ass off. He's actually a master crafter. He's, he's like, rapping he just while he's... Big toilet shit. Yeah, you see, like, a montage of him with his shirt off from the chest up, just, just hammering... Just, yeah, with some eighties music. Sweat yeah. just <laughs> every time he hits a slow motion. Just <laughs> <laughs> yep. So he gets it done, right? It's it's completed, and it's about what if? Yeah. While this is happening, they're doing the, all the digging. They find the treasure. Oh shit! They found the treasure. They, found, they, they just found treasure. They fucking found treasure. They What's found in the, the treasure that we forgot about twice? <laughs> They just lay the treasure chest on top of Mark's dead body. <laughs> <laughs> he would have wanted it this way. There's two party shots off Mark's body. <laughs> party! <laughs> we found shots. treasure. Um, shot, 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 shot. Yeah, but my bad. Is- so, so Will and Beans have, it's, it's like close to dark now. Um, Will and Beans has, have this moment where they, um, Will's maybe a little bit proud of his son, maybe? I'm a little bit proud of you, son. You don't know how much that means to me, Father. Are you crying? No, it's just uh, my eyes get watery sometimes. When I, I yawned. <laughs> yawned? I yawned. Uh. Very deeply. I don't know why I sound like Winnie the Pooh now. <laughs> <laughs> you must be tired. Yes, you must be You must be very sleepy after all that work you've done, Mommy the Boy. It's changing the world, I'd say. Does uh, Beans offer the first shitting to his father? Uh, Father? Yes. I'd like to offer you the very first shitting upon thy throne. I don't... Just poop in it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the right it. words. Just poop in it. It's a hole in it. Poop in it, Father. <laughs> <laughs> so he sits, on the, he sits on the toilet, of course. <laughs> you know, he forgets to take his pants down because he doesn't know how this works yet. Uh, he just kind of sits on it. Yeah. He's like, uh, do I, I just go? And everyone stares in amazement as, uh, you know, a very awkward moment of, of William Shakespeare shitting on top of Blueberry Hill. Um, <laughs> and um, I want to, like, do a freeze frame of this moment. And and a narrator comes in. <clears throat> and that was the very first shitting that has happened in history. Since then, toilets have went on to be unanimous everywhere and we can hardly imagine a world without toilets and it was all invented by being shakespeare the one everyone thought was crazy but was actually and then it pans out my stupid brother <laughs> stupid brother fuck you pork fucking he's just, so it's pork he's like older now he's like maybe you know, surprisingly, he's like old he's, and bitter. He's old and bitter. He's um, you know, he somehow is ninety nine. Um, but, no, it, no, but the bitterness has has sustained him Kept him alive like a pickle I could have built a toilet I could have done it My father just didn't give me the chance to And it pans out to all these kids who are listening um, It's like 
1899 <laughs> right now i don't know anyways y'all have any questions this is my brother that you invented the toilet you're welcome you can thank me too <laughs> i drove him to do this <laughs> i drove him to make the toilet twas because of i twas because of me it was me my constant prodding and <laughs> then one of the kids raises their hands what did you, what did you invent did you invent anything i i'm a dentist <laughs> Boo! That's the end. But I'm working yeah, on orth, something called orthodontistry. <laughs> hey, that's the end. That's the end. That's it's the me, end my it. magnum opus. There's a, there's a post credit scene on this one. Yeah. We're oh. doing it. Oh. It goes back to, to, to old Billy Shakes. Okay. He's a, <laughs> he's a, after the shitting, the, the, the quantifiable shitting, the, he held, he held, uh, like a, a, another conference and he's like, I just want to extend my newfound love to, to, Beans or not <laughs> to beans. No, no, no. To beans. Everyone yeah. clap. Everyone clap. You, you know did. what's funny? I never, we never made the correlation between beans and shitting. Yeah. Pooby beans. It, it all just kind of came full circle, didn't Father, it? Have you ever heard of beans, beans, the magical fruit? The more you eat, the more you toot. That's very good, son. You should write that down. Yes. I think I will. <laughs> beans is a poet beans. too. Beans, the magical fruit. Slab. Uh. The more you eat, the more you toot. Woo! Beautiful. I, don't I know think how we, we did got it. here. Beautiful. Dude. Oh my god. I can't believe we just did the worst story I've ever heard. That was slam so good. Slam dunk. Hey, I want to thank you all for listening to this terrible, awful, goddamn bad podcast. And again, we are sorry. Um, I'm not. I want to thank my uh special guest, Stephen Ryan. Stephen, do you have any plugs? Find me at uh, Instagram, which is uh Steve B fucking up. Steve with a V. You can uh, follow my Twitter, which uh, nobody does. Uh, Steve Ryan at Angry Jack Harlow. <laughs> I love that name. Man. And then, uh, yeah, I think uh, my TikTok is uh, Stephen Ryan Comedy. So, uh, what's up? Uh, what's up with the twelfth? Oh yeah, the twelfth, the funniest motherfucker. <laughs> Almost forgot uh, what was going on that day, but yeah, the funniest motherfucker competition is going on at uh, Nate Jackson's. Yeah, I'm gonna take it home. Nate Jackson's a club in Tacoma, Washington. Mm. Yes, you know I me. Mean? Yeah. Yeah. On Hosmer. Uh, don't be scared. There's nobody. Uh, you know, nobody got to worry about over there. Don't worry about them homeless people. They won't bother you, man. Just, yeah. just keep walking. If someone tries to stab, just simply swerve, and you should be all right. Just, <laughs> yeah. You know, they don't turn so good. They're like crocodiles. Yeah. yeah. That's an electrical fence. They don't uh, come into the parking lot of the uh, hotel and comedy club. Perfect. So you don't Perfect. Have to worry about that. Steven, thank you again. Oh, for, and tonight. Yeah. I'll be at uh, Top Gun, uh, the Top Gun Bar and Grill over there in what, Piala? Tonight or the 22nd? Tonight. Oh, okay. On Mer it's off Meridian over there by the airport. We're about a week early right now. This is, if you're listening to this, you're too late. Yeah, but. if you're listening to this, you're too late. <laughs> we might go. There. Yeah. But do you, do you go there often? No, it's my first time. First time? Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, you can find Steven, like, uh, perform. He's a stand up comic. Uh, comedian i have not seen his show yet but i definitely I will after this is, is, yeah. i have he's funny okay <laughs> yeah i'd be at tcc uh tacoma comedy club not the community college um <laughs> i'd be at the the new one on sixth ave that just opened up uh yeah monday and thursday every time i'm there hell nice. yeah you guys come on out That's what i'm talking about also uh you can find my music at uh yeah elijah griffey at spotify apple music any of those places um yeah, check me out. Appreciate you coming on the show. Yeah, I appreciate you guys for having me. It's a good time. Hey, man, Absolutely. anytime. It's been a long time yeah. coming, man. Yeah. Nuck, Nuck, do you got any plugs? Oh, man. Uh, pff, you know what? If you if you are in the uh, Seattle, Tacoma, surrounding areas, and you need some studio time, man, just hit me up. Uh, I'll be around, you know, N-U-Q-A-D-Y on everything. It's where you can find me. Uh, this podcast, if you like this, please, uh, you know, give us a rating. Uh, on anything that you can give it on, you know, a nice, nice little five stars would be appreciated or a thumbs up. Anything we're everywhere. I, we're, we're on the YouTubes now too. So if you want to get on there, uh, you can find a show there too. Uh, if you like, uh, pancakes, I recommend, uh, IHOP. Uh, mm. they're, they're pretty good. I don't really like pancakes, but if you like pancakes, that's a good place to find them. So, um, 
This podcast yeah. is not sponsored by IHOP. We're not sponsored by IHOP. IHOP does want to sponsor us. We're happy. To if you sponsors. keep bringing it up to their manager, though, maybe they'll call us. So go ahead and bug mm-hmm. IHOP about uh, sponsoring us. Fun fact, if you buy 100 pancakes from IHOP, you do get a sponsorship. Mm-hmm. That's true. Hey, and if you have a suggestion for a wheel or something fun or you just want to say hi, email us at definitelynotgoodpodcast at gmail.com. Uh, thanks for listening, and we're we're out. We're I out could of here. start a fire with a cigarette, but <laughs> cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I like that. Redonkless. You guys are silly. You guys are fucking silly boys. Do we have anything else we want to we want to shout out? We want to put in. Uh, I still make beats. If you want beats, so you know, I still talk. If if you're listening, so um, go to the next episode. Bye. Yes, stupid. Bye.